Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the movie. To connect to our ESX server, we can type in the IP address or the host name if it's already registered in DNS. And we want to type in our username and password. Now if this is the first time we're connecting to our ESX server, we're going to need to type in root and the password we specified for the root user. And we specified that password in the installation. And hit enter and it will go ahead to connect to your ESX server. And now we're connected to our ESX server and if we had any virtual machines we could see them over here and let's take a quick tour of all the different tabs now I'm going to go over each one of these individually in later movies so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it but we can take a quick tour the summary tab lets you know what type of server you're on and also the resources on the server and how much of those resources are being used we can also see our storage, our data store, and we'll go over all this later, and the networks on our ESX server. If I click on the Virtual Machines tab, if we had any virtual machines set up, we would see them here, and we would see the state of them and the status. Resource allocation, also if we had virtual machines, we would see how our resources are allocated. Performance, this is a handy tab. We can see the processor, usage of our ESX server. We can also see things like our disk usage and other statistics that are helpful for gauging how busy our ESX server is. But again, we're going to go all over all of this in later movies. The configuration tab is where we're going to do a lot of our host configuration. And we'll go over this again later on. Users and groups this is where if we don't have virtual center we'll be setting up users and groups now normally in a production environment you'll want to use virtual center with your ESX servers because it gives you so much more control and so much more power it allows you to use things like vMotion, HA and DRS so I'll just scroll over to the next this is where we can see any events that occur and get any details and finally the permissions tab is where we can see what permissions are set up so that's just a quick tour of our ESX server and again the virtual infrastructure client is where we're going to do almost all of our ESX server administration and once we install virtual center we're no longer going to connect directly to our ESX server with the virtual infrastructure client we're actually going to connect to our virtual center server and through our virtual center server we'll administer all of our other ESX servers.